This is Amehi. She's my newest original character and she's our host for this Skyrim mod review. And this is me, Bekofi. Hi. Today we're taking a look at mods that are popular in Skyrim mod community. To narrow down the selection, I simply chose to cover my favorites out of mods with high endorsement rating in the community. So we'll take a look at JK Bard's Cottage by JK Roymal, The Mysterious Knight Armor by Dint99 and Daymar, Fashions of the Banditry by Golinski RH, then I'll also cover CBPC Equipment Physics by Acro, Precision Accurate Melee Collisions by Ersh, and finally Shadow of Skyrim by Cyclonics. So let's take a look inside the Bard's College in Solitude. JK Roymal's interior and exterior overhaul makes the Bard College even fancier yet similar to vanilla. Several rooms have been added. We get a kitchen in the basement and a small hot bath overlooked by a statue. On the upper floors there's a door inside one of the lecture rooms that lead to a balcony. It's a cozy balcony that overlooks the street outside from a height. Inside of this renovated bard college, the bards and the students are still at each other's throats like usual, so no difference here. Next up is Mysterious Knight, an original armor that's been added to Skyrim based on artwork by an artist named Seung Hee Lee, if I could pronounce that right. The cape is my favorite as it comes with physics. Same is true for the chains that hang from the hip armor and legs. The detail is amazing and I am sure Amhi appreciates this armor. The armor is a bit skimpy and reminds me of a female superhero from the Marvel and DC and American comic book universes. Now, speaking of superheroes, if you'd rather be a bandit, then the fashions of banditry is for you. This mod adds just about 5 new armor sets based on fur, leather, iron and dwarven materials. The designs are very cool and the fur blends in with the metal armor seamlessly. Personally, this is the bandit armor that I love the most. It's immersive and full of design choices. And while we're on the topic, if I ever make a male character, this is the armor I would give them. Because maybe you see when I make my female characters, like Amihi here, she has a lot of bikini armor, and that's because it allows for hundreds of armor pieces to put together for great design freedom. But Fashions of the Banditry kind of give me that same fashionable vibe, so it's a really good and less skimpy option. Now that we have plenty of wardrobe options for warfare, <laughs> pun intended, we'll take a look at CBPC equipment physics. This mod adds physics to weapons and sheaths when hanging on your person. During installation, you can choose between giving it ridiculous bounds or just use the firm option like I do for subtle physics movement. Now, the most popular mod for August is Precision, Accurate Melee Collisions. Precision is a mod that changes how combat works on a fundamental level. Usually, weapons use a hit frame to feel if you hit an enemy or not. With the Precision mod, a collision box is added to weapons instead, making it so that you'll hit anything you visually swing at. This removes the need for skills that hit multiple characters at once because if it looks as if your weapon slashed through an enemy, then it actually did. In addition, there's a hit stop feature that makes the hits feel heavier by stopping time for a very brief moment when hitting enemies. There's also a weapon trail feature and more things to tweak in the MCM menu. I'm not sure if I like 
one thing about this mod, when I play in third person, when I try to hit enemies who stagger and crouch down, my horizontal attack just leaps over them, missing the hits. This would likely be dependent on the combat animations. Either way, precision is a mod that feels revolutional for Skyrim combat. And finally, we'll take a look at Shadow of Skyrim, the Nemesis death system. This mod is my favorite alternative death mod out there. Just remember to activate it in the MCM menu after installation. When the mod is running, death will no longer trigger a load to last save. Instead, you'll drop equipped armor and weapons in that area and you'll respawn some ways off. In addition, you'll be struck with a debuff and the enemy that defeated you will transform into a buffed nemesis and they will even get a unique name attributed to them. To get your gear back and to remove the debuff, you need to gain vengeance on that enemy. They will also show up on the map so you can find them. It's up to you if you'll try to defeat them right away with a new strategy or if you decide to power up before attempting to gain revenge. The point of this mod is to encourage continuity and to discourage save skimming. I hope this has given you an insight to some of the many mods for Skyrim Anniversary Edition that are popular right now. For more tips on combat mods in particular, just click on the window on the screen or follow the link below. With that said, bye bye, have a good day.